ですね私の希望というのは将来芸術家になることだったのでそれで10歳頃から私は絵を山のように描きました母が絵を描いてはいけないお前は財閥と人と結婚して将来家庭の主婦になると言って私の絵の具だとかカンバスなどを取り上げてしまいました。Making art was something that she seems to have done in opposition to her family, but she also was innately talented. And you look at the early drawings, and they are completely exquisite. The challenges to become an accomplished artist in a Japanese provincial milieu must have driven this notion that at some point she would have to escape. She was on a train to stardom. She knew exactly what she wanted to do. She had a suitcase full of drawings and she set about selling herself. New York, I was in the Empire State Building. I was in the Empire State Building. When she first came to New York, it was a man's world. The, the art world was aggressively male. It was a cutthroat. Period. You know, I think it was very difficult to be a woman artist. So, in New York, I met. I was in a fight with a beast. So, I made a piece of art. 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 And then, I was writing a piece of art. And then, I was writing a piece of art. And then, I was writing a piece of art. And then, I was writing a piece of art. And then, I was writing a piece of art. And then, I was writing a piece of art. And then, I was writing a piece of art. And then, I was writing a piece of art. She was taking away. Your ability to focus, breaking all boundaries of space. And the exhibitions that I had, in particular the Peep Show, that did the job. It was an octagonal room, it was painted black, and there were openings where you could stick your head in. And the ceiling of it set up a series of lights. The rhythm of that machine was. Faster and faster. Up till Kusama, there were many artists from the Renaissance on who were involved with perspective and infinity, but it was all a fake because you knew, you as a viewer, you were always aware that you were the master, that it was a painting that was encompassed by a frame, and the artist was playing with space, but it wasn't enveloping you. <laughs> といったものは私の大いに興味を惹かれる作品のテーマであります。集積っていうのは宇宙の星が一つだけでは存在しなく、地球も一つだけ存在しなく、全宇宙星の集積であります。で私たちも結局花を見るとそれと同じ花がいくつもいくつもつながっていて、それそれに対して。追いかけていくとパニック状態に陥って私自身それ花を食べてしまうそれは結局体の調子が悪くてねあまりにも鋭角すぎてそれで具合が悪くてこちらの方に来まして To go back to Tokyo and to start from scratch again for Kusama was quite extraordinary because she wasn't known there and she hadn't been recognized Clearly, the strains and stresses of life, the memories, have forced her to withdraw. But what she's always done, she has always managed that process incredibly well. Kusama is now living in a, a mental institution, but by day, she occupies across the street in a busy 
suburban neighbourhood of Tokyo, a very well-appointed studio facility where she has a team of assistants and she has a space for painting, she has a space for her library, her archive. And every morning she gets there and she's the consummate professional and she works from nine to six. And I think there's a sort of a managing madness about Kusama, which is so utterly sane, which is really interesting. She's, she's used her trauma, she's used these uh, experiences in her past. She's been able to uh, harness um, experience of experiences that might drive other people insane to enormously productive ends. She's an extraordinary person in that way.